Hi, this is there to do motivation. And I'm trying to talk you to sleep. I'll do my best, but I, I can't promise that I'll succeed in doing so. How has your day been? Did you have a nice day? Did you laugh? Did you cry? Were you happy? Were you sad? What did you think about today? What was the single most thing you thought about today? Is it money? Health? Is it someone you love? Your parents? Your spouse? Your kids? Do you ask yourself sometimes what this life is all about? Why you are here? What's the meaning of all this? Is it only endless pain and suffering? Or is it all love and laugh and smiles? Being rich, being poor. What is this life about? Have you ever thought about what happens once we leave? Once we're no longer here? Where did we come from in the first place? Do we go anywhere? Do we get reborn? What happens? I would like to know. I'm sure you would too. Life is a crazy trip, man. It can be crazy sometimes, but beautiful too. Maybe it's best not to think about life too much. Just let it happen. Let it flow, man. Anything can happen in one's life. Maybe our dreams are what make and shape our life. Some people dream all day. Some people only dream when they sleep. And some people dream when they're awake. Which one are you? Do you dare to dream? Do you believe that you can make your dreams come true by simply dreaming them? What are you dreaming about? Love? Material things? Health? Happiness? But everyone says happiness and health, or at least happiness, comes from within. You can't be happy with another person if you can't be happy on your own. Maybe finding happiness inside of you is more important before finding a perfect partner. And if you dream of material things, material possessions, isn't it like the Buddha said, that once you, you fulfill one material dream, it immediately gets replaced by another, by something else. So the desire for material things never ceases to exist. It is an endless hunger that we cannot still, we never can, and we never will be able to. And if you think about this, this thought alone, then what should you desire? If it's not a piece of land, if it's not a nice car, a nice house, or money on your bank account. What are you trying to achieve then in life? In this theater of dreams, in this parade, in this facade, if it is not material which you wish upon yourself, then what can you achieve health, perfect health, but you won't live forever, no matter how healthy you are, love, the perfect love, does perfect love exist, so what can you dream of, I think it is up to us what we decide, 
to want to have or to want to be. And maybe there aren't any guidelines. Maybe there hasn't been a person like you or me ever before. Maybe all our thoughts and dreams are unique. And that's why we ourselves have to somehow find out and decide, make that decision of what we want or what we will do in life to explore and experience and become and to be wiser, better than before. So maybe you can fall asleep a bit easier now, now that there is no pressure on you anymore. Pressure doesn't exist for you. There is no pressure on you because you are the first you in these exact circumstances you live in. And these exact thoughts that you have, there has never been any living organism like the exact you. So there can't be pressure because you are unique. And what you do, what you dream, what you want, what you believe is entirely up to you. It's no one else's business. It is entirely up to you. So be brave and bold and decide for yourself. This is there to do motivation, trying to talk you to sleep. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.